Hi guys today we're gonna talk about a new tool for UI UX designing. Framer. This the website of Framer. Here they are showing us pretty much everything about their features, templates, pricing and more. I guess it's better to explore the features of Framer by doing a simple task. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Click on the Open Framer button. It will open a new tab. Now click on the Get Started card. This is the UI of Framer. It's clean and simple. Let's create a responsive navigation using Framer. Here we already have a layout of width 1200 which is compatible for desktop. Use the Frame tool on the top right corner to draw the navigation bar. You can also press the F key to use the Frame tool. Let's change the background color to white, and give it a nice box shadow. I'm gonna change the blur value to 10 and I will reduce the opacity to 14%. Now select the text tool to add texts on the navigation bar. I will add a text called logo. Here you can change the text properties according to your preference. Now let me make two copies of the text and change it to about in contact and change its font weight to regular. Now select the navigation and choose layout. The default layout type will be stack and the direction will be horizontal. Change the gap and padding to 25 pixels. Now I will create the menu icon which can be used in the phone and tablet variant. So I have created a 32 by 32 pixels frame then change the background color to white, and within it I'll draw three lines. Let's rename the frame to menu. Now let's add the menu to our stack. After that select the logo text and menu then right click and choose add stack. Change the distribute type to space between and width to fill. Right click on the navbar then choose create component. You can also use the alt Control k shortcut for it. I'm gonna name the component to navigation. This is out primary variant, I'm gonna name it to desktop. Click on the plus button to create a new variant, and name it to tablet. Repeat the process to create a phone variant. Click on the menu icon on the desktop variant and change the visible property to no. Now select the tablet variant and change the width to 810 pixels. After that select the phone variant and change the width to 390 pixels. Select menu icon from the layers panel then change the visible property to yes. Select about and contact links then change the visible property to no. Now go back to the pages and press the play button to run the prototype. Resize the page to view the responsive navbar. If you find this tutorial helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.